right. So someone wrote in and said that they'd watched our video about talking about conflict. We love when you write in. Yes. Keep writing in. Um, and she said it actually went really well. She, she had had a friend. They'd broken up, had a fight. And, um, Her they, advice was helpful? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And she used our, our discussion about difficult conversation, difficult conversation mm-hmm. to, um, I was just trying to make sure we're even. <laughs> um, and it went, the conversation actually mm-hmm. went really well. So they're, they, they kind of broke up, and but it's been surprisingly normal and easy. They broke up as friends. Yeah. Okay. And they, but they see each other in social context. Mm-hmm. And because there hasn't been all this animosity, because they had the difficult conversation and they talked about the difficult mm-hmm. things, they're actually cordial when they see each other okay. and so this person saying when I see them it's really felt weird for me I'm like hard to give up on her as a friend mm-hmm. because things are so easy like it she thinks like part of her is like if it's that easy why can't we be friends even though we broke up mm-hmm. this is Reed Mahalko from meetaboutsex.com it's Kevin Gartuli from the intimacy dojo.com and what are your thoughts uh so well the the, the main thing is just because Things are going well doesn't mean you're supposed to be friends Mm -hmm. and it takes two to tango right like you you might want to dance with your partner with your friend but if they don't want to dance with you like you can like like if you have the habit of being friends like and you have a lot of history and things are relatively easy it's it's natural to feel like why what I would do is I would remember why you broke up in the first place Mm -hmm. and then use those those feelings of you know longing, like, like longing in a good way, like, oh, this is so easy. Why can't we use that to really anchor and appreciate in a, in a really healthy, nostalgic way, Mm -hmm. how awesome your ex friend is and who they are as a person. I also, uh, let me interrupt you. Yeah. And then I would go back to remember why you broke up in the first place, because there was a reason you had the breakup Mm -hmm. conversation just because it went well. And you're both decent human beings mm-hmm. out in your social f- sphere, and it's and it's easy. Doesn't mean you're supposed to get back together as friends. Right. There's another possibility is that deconstructing what the friendship meant to you. And uh, for example, I had a boyfriend. We broke up, and we kind of cleaned things up. And after a while, we'd see each other, and there was still that like it was really easy. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a yes for us to be in relationship anymore, like romantic relationship. But there were things that were valuable. So it might be that maybe she's not the deep friend that you're going to tell every deep story to, but maybe there's room for movie buddies or coffee or, like, my, my boyfriend and I became pretty good friends. Like, mm-hmm. we could talk to each other and turn to each other. We had all that continued history that we could lean on for that. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't right so, for us to be that so kind different of friend. So yeah. be different kinds of friends. <clears throat> this is also really interesting is... If you've only ever had breakups with friends, or even like with romantic partners, go horrible, mm-hmm. horribly. Welcome to having a good breakup. Mm-hmm. Congratulations! And because it went well, isn't necessarily a signal you're you're destined to be back together as the kinds of friends or the romantic relationship that you had. Yeah. So I would say put more crayons in your friend crayon box mm-hmm. about what they what what and how. Mm-hmm. And if I mean, what a blessing to live a life where you're surrounded by people that you've cared about, yeah. and you don't have to like banish each other from your mm-hmm. your social setting. Um, and so, yeah, I would go with the crayons, more crayons in the friend crayon box. Yeah, and just and maybe look at what aspects of it. If say you were like best buddies, always in each other's pocket, that may that may not work, but you could still like, hey, let's get together for the movies. Maybe once a week. And well, I would look at what did you get, what needs were you getting met with that particular friend crayon. Mm-hmm. And your longing might be that you haven't had a quote unquote replace mm-hmm. where you get those needs met from. Yeah, that's a good and so you're kind of like starving. Yeah. You have a craving. And because things are going well, it's like, well, why can't I why can't we do that together? Mm-hmm. So look at that too and see if you can get those needs met from other friends because yeah. maybe you need a replacement crown, which sounds, this, maybe that's not the right <laughs> way to say it, but you know what I mean. Yeah. We hope this helped. Um, we really appreciate you writing in. We're so glad the video we sent out helped you with that. Yeah. Awesome. Way to go. Yeah, You're awesome. Everyone who leaves a comment's awesome. Even the haters.
this. Your awesome team.